This video is going to be covering terrain generation in Houdini. Trains are generated using hype fields, which are essentially 2D volumes that we can apply noise and masks and using a variety of hype field nodes, shape our volume into the terrain that we want. So let's have a look. To begin, I would recommend that you set your desktop to terrain, like so. That's going to optimize your desktop for all terrain related tools and windows, as well as your radio menu when you hit the C key you have access to all the terrain tools at your fingertip. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is probably set to image context. By default, we're gonna set it to object because we are just gonna be dealing with SOP level stuff today. So, all right, let's drop down a height field now. Hold control and click on height field. And there is our height field object. If we double click to go inside and hit the P key, you can see that it's a thousand meters by a thousand meters, which is why we are looking at basically nothing in the viewport. If we hold down space G, there's our height field plane. And now we can drop down some noise on it. Click on height field noise. And there's our initial noise to begin with. So a couple things. We can hit the tab key and here under terrain are all our height field nodes. And if you want to filter them quickly, you can type HF and with the exception of hair growth field, all of these should be the high field nodes. So next are these teal circles that you see, which are indicating to us that these are high field nodes and therefore deal with 2D volumes. So with the exception of mask by object, um, you can't really work with polygons unless you convert your height field. So uh, let me just quickly show. So notice the color of the inputs and outputs. So there is our polygon working in our height field network. So that's how you can work with polys. Let's hold the Y key and slash that and we will continue. Now I'm just going to make some edits to this and there's my initial noise, which I can then layer. And put down an HF layer now and plug these two into the first input. It'll auto populate into the second. And this guy I'm going to set to add. And here I'm going to set this to steps. Now we're just going to do some adjustments. All right, so now we have something like this. And this is how we start layering all the height field nodes to shape our terrain. We can also draw out masks. So if we middle mouse scroll to shape, resize our brush, we can paint out some specific areas and we can apply terracing on it. Plug that into the mask, compute range, and there's our terrace on the area that we painted. And if we want to continue painting out other areas to add to it, we can do so. And we can use the same mask for erosion. Oops. Plug that into the mask input. I'm going to set these guys to mask. Now I'm going to hit the play bar, the up arrow key to erode. And now it's only eroding the area that we've painted out the mask where we want the erosion to be. So I'm going to load up an example terrain. So here is an example of a, an actual terrain, which Alex Dracot made. You can see that by layering high fields together, you can get a pretty cool looking terrain. And that's how you can create terrains using the high field nodes in Houdini.